Next, I would like to call to the podium Senator Terry Van Dyne. You would begin making your way up here. Uh, I met Senator Van Dyne last year at this meeting, and at that point, she was she was also new, uh, uh, replacing, stepping in for uh, Senator Nesbitt, Martin Nesbitt, who tragically passed away. And uh, we appreciate you being here again this year. And I'm sure uh, it feels a little different this year, doesn't it? Um, last year, I hadn't seen the Senate Chambers yet when um, <laughs> I came and spoke to you. So yes, it feels a lot different. Well, that's great. Well, we're glad to have you, have you back with us. And I've got a question with you. Congratulations, Minority Whip. After one year, that's, that's a great accomplishment. Uh, so, having gone through a year as a freshman and now stepping in as a minority whip, show us a little bit how you plan to use this new leadership role to lead in North Carolina and what you feel like you'll be able to do for Western North Carolina in this new leadership role. Um, first, first, I want to thank you all um, for the invitation and especially though for the advocacy work that you do. I love your new committee name. Um, it, is, uh, it is about good advocacy for good public policy and I appreciate that very much. I also want to tell you that you have a great delegation. Uh, uh, our newbies, our Brian and John, are working very hard uh, getting to know their constituents so that they can come to Raleigh prepared. And our senior uh, legislators, Susan and um, Joe Sam, are helping them learn how sausage is made. So they are going to represent you well. On the Senate side, uh, Senator Davis, Senator Heiss, and um, Senator Apodaca are extremely well respected and influential and, and you can be very, very proud of them. But not surprisingly, um, I, I differ a little bit in terms of legislative priorities. Um, the lens with which I look at legislation, of course, has got to be economic, um, economic development and jobs. But in my mind, so uh, economic development is part of that equation, but so is education, so is our environment, and so is um, access to quality health care. Um, I look forward, I am excited uh, about the opportunity to um, vote on a clean JD bill and um, to usher that through my caucus. But I have some concerns um, about uh, leaving behind things like the historic tax credit and the um, film tax credit, which I think were very instrumental in making Asheville and Buncombe County the vibrant, colorful community that we have. So I have some concerns there. Um, on healthcare, healthcare, the Medicaid expansion. Uh, now the Cone Foundation has reiterated what the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation has said. This is costing North Carolina serious money. We need to do the Medicaid expansion. And finally, uh, our environment, uh, thank you very much to Senator Apodaca for his leadership on the coal ash bill. We need to go even further with that and make sure that all of the coal ash ponds get cleaned up in North Carolina. And um, we need to make sure that that burden is shared. Uh, that the tax, uh, not the taxpayer, the rate payers um, do not have to shoulder the entire burden for that. And I have uh, some concerns there. But the, but the bottom line is that the challenges that we are dealing with in North Carolina are complex and they are all interrelated. And we need to deal with all of these things. And we will do that better if we work together, if we work across the aisle, and if we recognize that some of the things maybe we shouldn't be doing. Maybe we should leave that to our counties and our municipalities because they have the expertise and they have the um, uh, uh, experience to make those decisions in a better way. But So thank you very much.